here today with Kirsty, one of the only female drivers in the British Drift Championship. How are you? Yes, it's uh, not exactly warm today, but hey, the beast from the east won't stop us. No, nope, no, nope, won't stop us at all. So, tell me a little bit about yourself. How did you get into drifting? Okay, so um, my history is, well, come from a family full of petrol heads, two older brothers, mum and dad met through cars, so it was inevitable that I was going to get sucked into it, as I did. Um, started off with modifying my own cars, going to the car shows and the car cruises back in the day. Um, and then I was at an event and one of my friends said to me, I want to do some DVDs on cruising. So I said, okay, so I was a presenter for them. Off of that, another friend heard about Sky TV that were looking for a presenter to do a program about drifting. At the time, I didn't have a Scooby-Doo what drifting was. I rocked up to Teesside and saw it and chin hit the ground. I was like, oh yes, that's it. I, ha I have to do this. It is just, I was addicted. It, drifting is addictive. I can definitely, definitely say that I know about that because I got addicted to it myself. So tell me a little bit about your plans for 2018. So in 2018, we plan to mix it up a bit. Um, previously, we've tried to do a full championship of one, whether it be British Drift Championship or the Irish Drift Championship. This year, we've looked at it and we've strategically planned to do events that will give a lot of coverage and ROI back to the partners that we work with. We're very fortunate. We have a lot of companies that are very supportive. Um, so we want to give a little bit back. So we're going to do, uh, you know, two or three events of the British Drift, um, two or three of the Irish Drift, and then we're hoping to head out to Europe and do some King and Queen of Europe along with many other demos. We've got like the spreadsheet of events this year is crazy. Like there's no time for any, any less left let up. Sounds like it's going to be a very busy year for you. Very busy. Yeah. There's, as I say, no holiday time. So it's just go, go, go from now on. Who needs holidays when you can go drifting? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about some of your sponsors. Is there anyone you want to say thank you to? God, I want to say thank you to all of them. Without them, you know, we wouldn't be out competing at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, we've we've had very good long-standing partnerships with many companies. To name but a few, we've got um, Advanced Clutch Technology, Motor Oils, um, Super Pro Europe. We have Racing Lines, um, with Corbo. You know, they've made some fantastic custom seats for us. Um, ARP, you see the car, it's just... We, we are so fortunate and they really do stick behind us. Yeah, I, I, I can see this is an awesome car. I'm very jealous myself. Oh. Tell us about your favourite moment in drifting. There's been quite a few. I was fortunate enough to be sponsored by, by Falcon Tyres. Um, so I was one of their works drivers and at the time the only female that they actually sponsored in drifting. Um, God, we went, we was asked to do an opening drift demonstration at Nürburgring before the tw end 24 um, and that was just, yeah, it put goose pimples on my arms. I remember sitting on the start line and just looking up at all of the stands, absolutely packed with people and just thinking, can't mess up, can't mess up <laughs> because the Falcon colours were blue and green um, and we, they wanted to keep it different for us. So we went with a lilac and a dark purple, but with the same design. So obviously it's kind of, it's good and it's bad. If you mess up, it, ah, it's the girl, it's the only girl. <laughs> but obviously if you're good, oh my God, she could drive, she's awesome. So yeah, it's horses for courses, but that, that as well as competing and again, demonstrations at Hockenheim, just because they're two massive pinnacle tracks. They are, yeah, that is true. And it's good that you've been to all over Europe to experience a few different countries and, and the fans over there as well. Yeah. I'm jealous, I really am. <laughs> Hi, oh, Kirst. Hello, Matt. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. I'd much prefer to be in your office. Yeah, it's a bit warmer in here than it is out there, but as I've said, the beast from the east won't stop us. <laughs> well, it's not even the fact of uh, you being in a warmer climate. You, you, you're in an awesome drift car. Thank you very much. I do love my boy. But you're in Cyril. Cyril the Sylvia. <laughs> so where, where has the name come from? Um, the, literally the day that I purchased him and... Um, put him up on the trailer, it was Cyril the Sylvia, and it's just stuck, and now it's hashtag Cyril the Sylvia. Amazing. How long have you had the car now? Too long. <laughs> um, purchased Cyril back in 2008. Rah, God, that is a while ago. Yeah. Wow. How long have you actually been drifting now? In Cyril? In general? We have been competing for, this is going to be our eighth year in 2018, and seven of those have been in Cyril. That is awesome. 
Uh, so, I mean, obviously Elliot's talked about some of your highlights uh, and obviously we're going to let you do uh, what you do best very shortly. But is there uh, anyone else you'd like to thank while we're here before you get turning some rubber? Yeah, God, as I said earlier, you know, it wouldn't, we simply wouldn't be out without the, the sponsors and the partners that we work with. And we are very fortunate and thank you so much. Um, but yeah, a few that I uh, didn't mention earlier. So we've got Samco, iTandem. Um, it, it, they, honestly, I would be stuck without their help. It, it does make an incredible difference to have some real loyal sponsors on board that really do help you. And it does make a massive difference. I think maybe we'll do a nice little uh, ending page with all the thank you to the sponsors and we'll, uh, we'll let you have a little play. So yeah, in your office, go have some fun. Thank you very much, Matt. <laughs>